I got two packages. First, this one here. And second, this one here. I guess this is going to be a little bit of a teaser unboxing because I'm going to only open one of these and I want to play a random game. We're going to treat this like the coin, heads and tails. So heads, tails, here we go. Cooper logo. We're opening this one. Let's get started. All right, need something to cut this open. And let's get started. A uh, huge shout out of thanks goes out to Jay Carmichael, who helped me out with this. Uh, interestingly enough, we started talking, and it wasn't about me buying anything. It was actually, uh, he had reached out to me and asked a few questions about some gear he was looking at. A little bit about, you know, the age and maybe what the value would be if he was to buy them. And uh, I noticed in the background of one of the pictures uh, the contents of this. So he reached out to the seller that he was dealing with to get more pictures of everything. And he got more pictures of this. And he middlemaned the whole thing for me. And I can't. I can't say thanks enough because this is pretty darn cool. And it's going to go really good back in here somewhere. So, if I can get it out of here. Oh, yeah. All right. Check this out. Some of the series of Cooper... Uh, marketing and promotional posters. I have a few already uh, framed and, and up on the wall. First we have Bopes, Don Beaupre. That's pretty darn cool. Let me set that under. Then we've got Kenny Reggett. So the Bopes one is a uh, generic Cooper ad. The Reggit is a Durasoft ad or promo. Then we've got Brasso. And again, it's another generic uh, topic. It's just Cooper in general. Mario Goslin, the goose. This one, again, just the generic Cooper promotional topic poster. The only thing about these is they're all laminated. It's a pretty good lamination job, and it did uh, do well to protect them over the years, for sure. In fact, boy, I don't even see any tack holes in the corners of, of the posters at all except for goose that one has a little bit of corner damage and the lamination is starting to peel i was half tempted to try to delaminate these and i was going to start with this one here because it's in the worst condition and but now that i have them on hand i think i'll probably just trim the edges of the lamination to square it off before I frame them. I think they're in too good a shape to try messing with them at that point. Well, there you go. Uh, just wanted to do a quick unboxing video. I know it's been quite a while since I've put out any, uh, you know, timely content. And you know now there'll be another unboxing or unbagging video coming soon. That's an exciting package. I'll probably knock that out. I, I, it's already been sitting here for like three days, so it's killing me to not open it. I've just been so busy lately with a lot of other stuff going on. I uh, was really hoping for tails on the puck flip. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. 
I'll be sharing some pictures of these on the Instagram account as well. And as always, thanks for watching.